Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. So today I'm gonna show you how you can solve this trust in SAP 2000. It will be very helpful for engineering students, especially those who are in their first or second year of university. So as you can see, <coughs> sorry, as you can see, we have a trust. Uh, their area are given and we have the young modulus as 200 gigapascal so we are gonna model this uh, truss together so four meters three meters and uh, 100 175 kilonewtons okay let's start doing it so I will click on new model click on grid only okay in X direction as you can see we have two lines and also in Z direction we have two lines as well so I will the grid lines for X direction will be two and for Z direction will be two as well and for Y direction we don't have any because it's a planner and I will later change the grid spacing I will show you how you can do that okay now if I click on XZ we can see our grid lines so now if you want to change the grid lines and the spacing you only need to right click on this grid line and click edit grid data modify so in X direction it was four meters you have to check and make sure that your units are in meter click on this one and in Z direction it was already three meters so I will save it to be as three okay now you can see here this is zero and zero you can see the dimensions here zero and zero zero and four and this should be 4 and 3 okay now it's time to draw our <coughs> truss so what I did was I clicked on this one and then you click on one joint then click on another joint the other one the other one and as you can see there are two like this and when you're done you don't want this to be continued you can simply click on uh, right click on your mouse and do it again okay now it's time to define the support as you can see I have one pin and one roller support here so I will click on this joint click on the sign go to joint and go to restraints and click on it for this one we will repeat the procedure sign joint restraint mm -hmm. okay and then you have to go to your load patterns and see that dead load is uh, defined already so you can assign the load okay as you can see we have two 100 kilonewtons downwards and 175 kilonewtons kilonewtons uh, towards the right so I will come here assign go to joint loads forces make sure that this is dead load so in X direction we had 75 kilonewtons and in Z direction we have to put it minus 100 because we want it to be downward as you can see the Z direction originally is upward so you have to make it minus and if I click on it you can see and here as well we'll have a joint force make sure that you are deleting these because SAP 2000 keeps the loading that you have assigned I'm not sure why the hell SAP does that but you make sure to get rid of it click now we have everything so 
now that we have all of these stuffs it's time to go and define the material and the dimensions for this uh, 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 members okay so I will go to material and click on add new material it doesn't matter which region you're uh, selecting right now because we are not going to use either steel or concrete or aluminium but we are going to use an other type material type because uh, we don't know exactly what are the materials we only know the young modulus and we only know the area section so click on OK you have to come here and make it as 200 gigapascal which will be 2e08 and don't forget to make this weight per unit volume zero most of the times uh, because you are uh, trying to solve a problem as uh, either in statics or either in uh, structural analysis problems they tell you to um, uh, to assume the weight per unit volume to be zero so make sure that you are changing this here if not it will ruin everything okay now I have already changed the material name to truss and click and click and now it's time to come to section properties okay as you can see we have two kind of section properties one for these ones and one for these ones as you can see there are uh, different uh, area sections so 4000 and 5000 again define section properties frame section and I will click on add new property and again it will be other general here you can give it the cross section area uh, because I don't want to make a mistake I will come here and change my units to millimeters for example Newton millimeters perfect define again frame section add new property other general and here I will make it 5000 and I will name it uh, inside because those are the inside uh, members and make sure to change the material here as truss perfect and add new property again and this times 4000 millimeter square and name it outside make sure to change the material to the truss perfect now it's time to assign the section properties that we defined right now to the desired members so I will select this one this one this one this one come to assign go to frame and assign frame section these are the outside so I will click on outside okay now I have them and for these two you select them go to assign frame frame sections and click on inside perfect now our model is 90 percent ready you may think that it's already done but there is one huge step that you should take before going to solve it what is that so here we have a truss this is not a frame it's a truss so these connections should be released that's why we will click or select all of the connections go to assign go to frame and come to release or partial fixity if you click on that so as I told before it's a truss section in truss members they don't bear moments so I will click on these uh, moments to release start and end of the frame members 
and make them not to bear moments. If I click on them, click on OK, you will see that they are released and now it's ready to solve it. So I will come to Analyze, Set Analyze option. It's only a 2D frame, so I will uh, make it a plain frame. As you can see, these are not checked. Go to Analyze again, set load cases to run. We want to run only the dead load, so I will click on Do not run case for this one. And if I click now, let me save it here in YouTube section and trust. Perfect. Okay, you can see the animation of that, how it is deflecting and it seems completely reasonable, it works very well. Now I will show you how you can find out the forces, stresses and any output that you may want to find out about this. Okay, let's start with the uh, uh, let's start with the forces. I want to see what happens in joints and these are the joint reactions so it will tell us. Okay, these are in Newton so it has a 156,250 Newton uh, joint reaction here and you can see the reactions here Again, you can come here, click on joints, and uh, sometimes when you don't have only uh, one combo, you can come and select for other uh, load cases that you may have applied. For example, if you had also live load, uh, besides dead load, you should have come here and add on the, click on the combo that you wanted to uh, have a look at. Okay, so. I'm going to show you how you can find out uh, all the outputs you may need. You have to come to display part and click on show tables. This part is for analysis results. So if you click on each of them you can find out uh, the sub, sub uh, divided parts. For example, for joint output, you can find displacements. I want to see the uh, joint displacement. You come here, again, select your uh, load case. Here, we only have dead load, so that's only the one. And uh, by modifying, when you have, for example, a hysteresis or cyclic loading, you can uh, tell the software to show it a step by step or last step or the envelopes which I will talk about them in future videos. Okay, if I click on OK, you will see for each uh, joint, you can find the different directions and different displacements in different directions. If you don't know which one is joint number one, you simply have to come here, click on this checkpoint, it sets the display uh, options, and you click on labels, you see for joints, you click on label and also for frames I'm, I'm gonna click on labels now you can see this is a joint 1, joint 2, joint 3 and joint 4 so if I come here again you can see for joint 1 in X direction or U1 we don't have any uh, deformation or displacement because it was a pinned one but for joint 2, 3 and 4 we have these amounts of joint displacement. You can also check out every other stuff. So, so for joint output we can also click on joint reaction and for element output I want to check out about the frames. So I want to see the element forces, element stresses and also element joint forces. Also for a structure, you can uh, check out the base reaction. So if I click on it, you will have all of them here. 
So the base reaction, which is uh, simply the base shear here for Z, uh, for example, for X direction, for Z direction, and different ones. For element forces, you can find out each element. So this is uh, uh, this is for example two one will be this one. Okay, you can find out each uh, force at each uh, station that you have defined and all the others are here so you can simply find out what you are looking for now our trust is solved and we are more than happy to see that okay let's see if we can find out uh, from here so I want to what we have here is force and stresses uh, on the picture so if you don't want it to be tabulated on a table you can have it on picture so you come here and click on frames cables and tendons you select your uh, case combo again and for example I want to see the stress S11 and I want it to be diagram let's see if it will show us anything or not yes it will show it and uh, if you if you come on it if you click on it on each point you can see the different uh, different uh, numbers for different places if it's a uh, variable so also for forces I want to check the shear force we don't have any because it's a truss and if I check the axial forces we will have as you can see here and you can also, instead of uh, filling a diagram, you can uh, tell the software to show the values. So you can see that. It will be very helpful for you. I hope you've liked this video. Please uh, click on the subscribe button and ask your friends to join us. You will learn everything that you need to learn in SAP 2000 in this channel. So. Please support us and we will be more than happy to be able to help you. Thank you so much and have a great study time in your university or even if you are studying by your own, enjoy it. Bye-bye.